Good. Right, okay, just a quick uh, video um, for you improvers uh, coming through. I'd like to give out your advice to help you guys on your path. And you know what, for you brick lads as well. So let me give you the situation here. Existing corner, quite in corner. I mean, this job I could fill my channel up. I've never seen it right like here, but it is what it is. So we're using it to strips. So this corner here, right, I've been asked to go on top and top around. Now look at this. Come look at the bubble. So she's like ridiculously. She's got to come down. She's too hot. But the client doesn't want to come down, wants me to top it out. So what do you do? If you've got another brick nose done this, do you go till the foreman? Or you don't want to be a grass? That's an awkward situation. So I've done both before. I've had probably four or five fights on site with other brick nose where they've not, um, when I've told them their work's just shit. No, I don't want to go on top of it because at the end of the day you get the blame also. So best thing to do in this case, one, either go and tell your foreman on the side if you don't want to be bubbled up, you don't look like a wrong one, go and tell your foreman to say, look, I'm going to top this work, it's not on. Or if you want to keep it quiet, get your pencil, initial, just buy the brickwork where you're going above. Yeah? Write it on your spreadsheet, write it in your diary, to make a note of it. Go above, make sure your work's correct, and then if there's any comebacks, then you can just say, well, look, I initialed it where I went off, so you don't get the blame. So, just a little tip for you improvers or apprentices out there, okay? Good, cool. I've just topped this corner out, you know, it's really awkward, because there's a massive mistake here. Um, I don't want to go into detail, but basically, you don't ever work like this. The roof's been put on, the outer skin's been left down, so um, alarm bells are ringing. But, you know, we, we got through it. I cut the tubes down um, and just worked around, just got on with it. Just took me time, you know, as you do. Now, what I've done is I've put them up. Now, let's have a look. Come right close to the bubble, so you can see. Yep. And she's plumb, okay? Yeah, so nice and plumb. So my work that I've done, I know right, okay? Um, nice and plumb, back into the system, how it should be. So like I said, I've initialed below. If there's any comebacks, I've took the insurance out and covered myself. So come yeah. round here for me. Took her up, give her a little point up, and that's it. So listen, you know, learning, it's always hard um, making that right decision what to do, but it is good knowledge for you. And it is good part for your, your, your upcoming, your learning as a bricklayer. So yeah, remember what I said, initial it and write it down on you. I mean, you guys use spreadsheets now on your phones. I only use a, a um, diary, you know. Um, and also in that diary, write down your hours that you do. So if you get rained off for 20, 30 minutes, make a note of it to so keep a track of your timings, you know? So when you get paid at the end of the week, you know how much you should be getting paid because you know how some subs are like, they slip on an extra 10 minutes, 30 minutes here and there. Because you've got 20 bricklayers on the job and you slip on 10 minutes each, adds up to quite a bit of money. So you can see what the subs do. So record your times. If you get stopped for whatever reason, record it. If you get stopped for rain, record it. Make a note, be responsible. What this also does is it teaches you to be responsible for when you start doing your own work. Yeah, your recordings, your findings, and you're working out. So it's good little practice for you if you want to progress on the trail and one day go on and have your own little gang and stuff like that. All right, well, listen, thanks for subscribing. Okay, thanks for all the support. It's gone absolutely mad the last month. Um, a lot of videos on the Instagram have been just shared by engineering pages, you know. Um, one um, film we put up the other day got uh, 246,000 views in a day. It was absolutely amazing. And again, of course, all the interviews I've been doing with on the tools and stuff. So I'm, I'm, I'm happy that you're finding this channel productive and the different bits we're talking about um, and going through. And also a big thank you to all the comments, guys. You know, I, I really like my my i should say fan base or following i'm not sure what to call it but they're real bricklayers 
you know, we have some little alert, some little cockroach come on and make a stupid little comment. And you guys are just battering him with the, like, good, honest, bricklaying experience and opinion and advice. And that's really good. So listen, thank you all very much. And uh, hit that subscribe button. Thank you, bye.